Hi, this is Heather Majors from Candlewick. I'm filling in for Meg Patrickwin this time around. She wanted me to tell you about several titles on our spring 2016 list, so here goes. Swap by Steve Light. You will remember Steve Light from his very successful picture books, Have You Seen My Dragon? and Have You Seen My Monster? The art in Swap is equally captivating. In this new picture book, a young scalawag sets out to help his pirate captain repair their broken down vessel. Their limited resources lead to lots of bartering for materials. One button for three teacups. Swap. Two teacups for four coils of rope. Swap. And on it goes. Kids will enjoy the colorful art in this clever tale of friendship. The Princess in Black and the Hungry Bunny Horde by Shannon and Dean Hale. This is the third title in the very successful Princess in Black series. Princess Magnolia and her unicorn Frimple Pants are excited to be off to a festive brunch, but just as they arrive and smell the fresh baked breads and see the platters of sugar-dusted donuts, the monster alarm goes off. Drat! The Princess in Black is quickly off to the goat pasture to see what the trouble is, but all she finds is a field full of darling little bunnies nibbling on grass. What? Where are the monsters? Could these bunnies be as innocent as they appear? It's a case of monstrous cuteness, but it is also the Princess in Black's biggest challenge yet. I Am Bear by Ben Bailey Smith We are very excited about this debut author and illustrator pair. In this rollicking picture book, Bear fills his day with food, funny jokes, tricks on his friends, and an escape right off the page when they all chase him in pursuit. This picture book stars a lovable, slightly naughty bear whose antics will have children smiling in solidarity. The author and illustrator have created a wonderful book video which will happily plant the lively tune in your head for hours to come. Isaac and His Amazing Asperger Superpowers by Melanie Walsh We expect this to be a very welcome addition to library collections everywhere, as more and more kids are diagnosed on the autism spectrum these days. Isaac may look like everyone else, but he actually has superpowers that make him different from his brother and his classmates. Some kids don't understand this and call him names. But Isaac's superhero brain remembers loads of things, he has energy enough to bounce on his trampoline for hours, and his ears are so sharp he can even hear the buzzing that some lights make in school. He tends to say whatever comes into his head and doesn't realize that he might hurt someone's feelings. Even though he is not really a superhero, he has Asperger syndrome, which means his brain works a little differently. He loves to play superheroes with his brother who understands him. This straightforward and engaging first-person narrative will help kids see the world through the eyes of a child with Asperger syndrome. Jack's Worry by Sam Zapardi. This is a gentle picture book about stage fright and anxiety. It will help kids examine and articulate their own concerns. Jack loves to play his trumpet, and for weeks he has been looking forward to his first concert. But the morning of the big day, Jack finds he has a worry. His worry grows and grows, as some worries do, until finally Jack's worry takes over his every thought and more and more of each page. His mom has a simple and reassuring message. The concert isn't about playing perfectly, it's about having fun and sharing something you love with people who love you, and I will still love you even if you play every note wrong. Shrunken Treasures, literary classic Short, Sweet, and Silly by Scott Nash Can't stomach all of Frankenstein? Lacking the strength to read the Odyssey? Never fear, Shrunken Treasures is here! Nine of the world's best-known stories and books have been reduced, like slowly simmered cherries, to tart and tasty mouthfuls. Lighthearted verse turns Moby Dick into a simple nursery song. Outrageous color makes even gloomy Hamlet seem like fun. From dense duty to delightful ditty, Scott Nash's collection will be a treasure for book lovers everywhere. A Tyranny of Petticoats, edited by Jessica Spotswood. This anthology includes 15 stories of bells, bank robbers, and other badass girls. It is a fast-paced anthology of historical fiction and fantasy featuring a diverse array of daring heroines from an impressive sisterhood of today's YA writers. These badass girls are making their own way in often hostile lands, using every weapon in their arsenals, facing down murderers and marriage proposals. They all have a story to tell. Hour of the Bees by Lindsay Eager This is an exciting debut middle grade novel. While her friends are spending their summers having pool parties and sleepovers, 12-year-old Carolina, Carol, is spending hers in the middle of the New Mexico desert, helping her parents move the grandfather she has never met into a home for people with dementia. At first, she avoids prickly Grandpa Serge, but as summer wears on, Carol finds herself drawn to him. She is fascinated by the crazy stories he tells about a healing tree, a green glass lake, and the bees that will bring back the rain and end a hundred-year drought. 
As the thin line between magic and reality starts to blur, Carol must decide for herself what is possible and what it means to be true to her roots. Burn Baby Burn by Meg Medina Nora Lopez is 17 during the infamous New York summer of 1977, when the city is besieged by arson, a massive blackout, and a serial killer named Son of Sam who shoots young women on the streets. Nora's family life isn't going so well either. Her bullying brother Hector is growing more threatening by the day, her mother is helpless and falling behind on the rent, and her father only calls on holidays. All Nora wants is to turn 18 and to be on her own. Award-winning author Meg Medina transports us to a time when New York seemed balanced on a knife edge with tempers and temperatures running high, to share the story of a young woman who discovers that the greatest dangers are often closer than we like to admit. And finally, on our list we have Raimi Nightingale by Kate DiCamillo. Kate DiCamillo is the winner of two Newbery Medals and one Newbery Honor, and in April 2016, we will publish her newest middle grade novel. Raimi Clark has come to realize that everything, absolutely everything, depends on her. And she has a plan. If Raimi can win the Little Miss Central Florida Tire Competition, then her father, who left town two days ago with a dental hygienist, will see Raimi's picture in the paper and maybe come home. To win, not only does Raimi have to do good deeds and learn to twirl a baton, she also has to contend with the wispy, frequently fainting Louisiana Elefante, who has a show business background, and the fiery, stubborn Beverly Topinski, who's determined to sabotage the contest. But as the competition approaches, loneliness, loss, and unanswerable questions draw the three girls into an unlikely friendship, and challenge each of them to come to the rescue in unexpected ways. Meg made me promise to say that any mistakes or issues in this presentation are entirely her fault, so feel free to get in touch with her at the email address on the screen. Many thanks for your time.